Hello everyone. Um, today I'm actually filming right before I'm going to bed. I'm in my really cute like Christmas PJs because I wear Christmas pajamas all year round. Like whatever. I have this really awesome side pony going on. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys what I got for Valentine's Day while I still had everything kind of put together and not like thrown around. So my boyfriend surprised me because I actually told him I didn't want chocolate this year because I'm trying to be good. He totally disregarded that, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so I woke up and he was like, oh, your present is in the living room. So I got up and I went in there and there was a dozen roses, which I thought was really sweet. Um, a really nice thoughtful card and a basket of stuff. Right away, it's like he knows exactly what I like. He, he just knows me, like, to a tea. Like, he got me the one with tea and coffee and, like, cookies, like, little snacks. Um, so, the, one of the teas is the Bigelow Assorted um, Herbal Teas. And it comes with um, pomegranate pizzazz, which I actually had um, earlier today. It was really good. It didn't even need sugar in it. Um, and then I Love Lemon, which is one of my favorite lemon teas. Um, mint medley, orange and spice, cozy chamomile, and sweet dreams. Super excited to try these out. I actually might use the Sweet Dreams one right now because if it helps me sleep, I am all for it. Um, and then there was this really adorable, like, look at this packaging. It has, like, a freaking handle. It's so cute. It's, um, Too Good Gourmet French Roast Coffee. Um, and it just comes with, like, a little packet like you'd find in, like, a hotel room. But I actually just thought that it was the absolute cutest packaging in the world. There's no nutritional information whatsoever, but it's still really cute and I can't wait to try it. Like, ugh, I might keep the box. Is that weird? I don't know. Um, the next thing that I don't particularly love these, so I'm going to give them to my mom, the whole three that um, my boyfriend didn't eat. Um, they're the Boston Fruit Slices Assorted fruit flavored slices. Um, and these are, I mean, they're good. They're like just gelatin-y candies with like a, with a rind, like a sugar rind. Um, my mom loves these though, so I'm going to give them to her. Um, next I have the salted caramel, um, brownie brittle. These are so good. I've never tried them before and I've always wanted to. They're basically like the crusty edges of the brownie and that's it. They're delicious. The next one are these um, Jules Destroper um, Buttercrisp Biscuits. Um, they are really good. They taste like what would you, what you would expect like a um, tiny waffle to taste like. And that's exactly what these are. They're really, really flat and crispy and delicious. And I think I'm in love with these cookies. <laughs> to be honest, I think I'm going to buy these a lot. Uh, then I have this brand here. It's called. It's from Too, Gour Too Good Gourmet again, and they're just the crispy sugar cookies. These are what you would typically expect. It's just a crispy sugar cookie, um, nothing fancy. Um, but it does say that they're all natural, which is pretty exciting to me. Cause I'm kind of all about reading the labels lately, and obviously since I got these, I'm gonna eat them and not feel guilty about it. But um, yeah, I like to. <sighs> read the labels to make sure that there's nothing in it that I shouldn't be eating. Um, so this doesn't have anything bad in them because they are all natural and they're actually pretty good. They're tiny little bite-sized cookies, um, but that's like perfect. Um, next, I actually um, have two of these because one's from my dad, one was in the box, um, but my dad always gets us something for Valentine's Day as well, so he ended up getting me a little bag of these Lindor truffles. Um, these are the best things in the world. They are the smoothest truffles I've ever tried. Like, they almost taste like... They almost have the consistency of butter, to be honest. Um, but I really love these. I've grown up with these, and I can't think of a holiday without these truffles. And I eat them sparingly. I don't eat too many at a time because they do have the consistency of butter, and they are pretty fattening. Um, and I'll probably end up sharing these with my mom because I know she likes these, too. <laughs> Um, next, I don't have the wrapper for this, so I left it at my boyfriend's house, but it was, um, mm, can't even remember the name, but it was a dark chocolate espresso chocolate bar. Seriously, the best dark chocolate bar I've ever tasted in my entire life. I loved it so much. I'll 
probably cut this up into like six pieces and then it'll last me quite a while and hopefully it gives me a little kick of energy from the espresso that it has in there um the next is these Loacker. I don't know. It's an Italian um, brand Quadratini dark chocolate bite-sized wafer cookies. These are amazing. I love wafer cookies like this. They're literally tiny little squares um, of layers of wafery chocolatey goodness and these are gonna last me such a freaking long time. <laughs> and then lastly is the um, Anna's Orange Swedish Thins. These are basically just a ginger snap cookie with like an orange flavoring to it. Um, they are so good and so thin. I'm like, I can't even, I have never thought of actually buying these in the store. I think they might be a little bit more pricey of a cookie, but now that I know about these cookies, I have to get them. Um, that's what I got for Valentine's Day. If you want, I'd actually love to hear about your Valentine's Day. Just comment down below what you got, what you did, who you did it with. It would be really nice to read those. Um, I feel like it would be really uplifting. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!